Hello guys and welcome to Vlogging Project Story. here your favorite YouTuber, today I've got something rather special on my channel, that is the CryptoData K1 Impulse phone, the first phone in the world, uh, you know, utilizing the VOBP technology, which is voice over blockchain, you can actually text, call and make video calls over secure connection in blockchain and apparently nobody can uh, hack this system because it refreshes 20 times per 10 minutes or something like that i'm really not very keen on the whole presentation because it's a little bit sketchy their youtube channel is uh, yeah go and check it out it's a little bit weird but yeah a brief history of this phone um there are two companies um you know behind it the first company is Karat Bars, that's a German company selling, you know, gold bars over the internet, which is quite weird, and their website is a little bit sketchy as well, and CryptoData Electronics, that's a Romanian uh, software security company, so basically uh, the government probably won't be able to access and hack your phone or tap it, but the Romanians already got everything they can so it's it's like yeah one or the other you have to choose me personally i don't really care about any of this stuff i'm just curious to see what this phone has to offer because the retail price is 999 1000 euros for this phone which is absolutely crazy guys initially the specifications were flagship grade and then they turned them down but without further ado let's get the boxy out of the way let's quickly check by the way what do we have at the back as you can see over here check this out importer gold standard banking corporation that's the card bars pretty much and uh, manufactured in china so this is not going to be like virtu like quality over here that's gonna be china you know premium phone quality and uh, more on that in a second but yeah um <laughs> so far we are not to a very good start to be honest with you but the unboxing experience is like no other guys you've got this metal plating over here and over here you've got a really weird bow over here which uh, i've checked their presentation and they say you've got a present bow uh, which is like okay I, I i use it to press over here and check this out guys Ta -da -da -da. Um, you've got quite nice stuff over here first of all that thing is attached to a piece of cardboard um yep i'm gonna check it on the side you've got three different flash drives over here guys each one of them has i think 32 gigs of storage which keep your personal data like messages uh, you know contacts photos whatever this is the wireless charging pad over here i would say nice looking this is the <laughs> this, that, that's the bow check this out guys the bow is actually kind of nice to be honest with you but again kind of chinese nice i'm not really sure why they include on that and this is the wireless earbuds at first you know they look cool because when you pop them out like that check this out guys they look all right they've got a screen over here but in reality they sound actually terrible and the volume is very very low so yeah it's okay that they've included them but you're never gonna use them over here what do we have check this out guys impulse a quick user guide over here one more some sort of certificates over here a case which is nice because there's no way on earth you're going to be able to find a case sim pin two and uh, you know some spare tips for the earphones over here so the phone itself i'm just going to leave it on the side over here because we've got more compartments on this box over here guys check this out this whole thing lifts up like that and we are greeted with international charger over here again it's good that they've included that but that's kind of the cheapest plastic available right there so yeah i'm not very keen on that you've got a usb-c cable and you've got a 10 watt charger guys which is not very good considering the battery is pretty much 3400 milliamp hours the charger is 10 watts so we're looking at over you know uh, i can imagine over two hours of um you know recharge times but anyway this is the phone itself let's have a look guys privacy in order and 
as you can see over here this thing is absolutely ridiculous okay i've got this limited edition um you know red version which i thought it's cool they've got the camouflage they've got the carbon fiber it's pretty much the same phone guys but check this out they've got a ridiculous you know transparent casing over here and they routed the uh you know these holes for the sound and the microphone over here and let me tell you something the sound is absolute rubbish okay it's 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 loud you can hear the voice but the quality is you know ear piercing it's it's absolute rubbish and the other thing is that over here it doesn't allow you to plug any kind of you know external 3.5 millimeter dongle so you can have actually a good uh audio output and you've got no 3.5 millimeter jack so it's like okay audio out of the window the sim tray has you know two sims and one micro sd which is nice we've got the power button and the volume rockers and check this out guys these sides look kind of nice to be honest with you i really like the quality of the sides but the overall that's cheap plastic over here to be honest with you that's uh, i mean it's it's a little bit weird check this out guys you've got this mirror finish over here which is nice but yeah rear mounted fingerprint reader it works 100 of the time and it is actually pretty good you don't have face unlock because of security concerns and you've got lift to wake over here you just press your thumb like that and there you go it's unlocked we've got a single camera at the back and i've got some bad news guys we've got a oneplus camera 13 megapixel sony imx 214 that's a one plus one camera which is like seven years old now guys that's absolutely ridiculous at the front we've got a five megapixel unit and this sensor is gc5035 i mean that's absolute rubbish and uh, you we, we've got we've got check this out guys we've got this um you know cut out for the we've got the notch uh, and and the whole phone kind of looks like the essential phone to be honest with you with the notch and with the overall design but yeah i mean that's how you're gonna carry that how tell me how are you going to carry that in your pocket this is too big guys and let me tell you uh, what the flash drives do actually uh, i'm gonna pick up the red one of course you need one of those flash drives when you're setting up your crypto data account uh so they can store your data i can imagine but pretty much what you do is that <laughs> i mean check this out contacts has stopped this looks like you're a villain in a james bond movie and you're about to launch some nuclear missiles destroying london or something like that that's that's ridiculous guys they should have cut this part over here and they should have made these usb flash drives for example with that size so they can click over here because that's you don't use that 99% of the time why do you need to have this in your pocket so unfortunately you know pocketability of this phone is out of the window pretty much so yeah in terms of the hardware that they've used guys they pretty much messed up um let me tell you what do they have over here they opted out for helio p 22 soc which is too old uh you know gaming wise i'm getting about 25 fps on kashja which is really not enough guys the screen itself it's a 5.7 inch uh, 720p lcd screen can you imagine it's not very bright in terms of ram just four gigabytes 64 gigs of storage and surprise surprise android 9 running from latest security patch january 20 20 guys i think this phone had like one update and pretty much that's it and you're never gonna have it updated ever again and the thing is you've got no play store you cannot install google play services and play store this functionality has been ripped off of this phone for security reasons um you've got this kind of ugly looking you know gold bar icons over here and the thing is that out of the box they allow you just to install certain applications guys you've got this app over here let me just switch on the internet quickly uh, and show you what do i mean over here 
there are very limited applications over here a number of applications yes they have selected and they told you the security of these applications is okay so tell me one thing how come the facebook is okay tell me and pretty much these are all the applications you got that's it i mean that's it these are all the applications you get but luckily you've got firefox and through firefox you can install pretty much whatever you like apart from the google services itself so as you can see over here i have installed you know youtube vast i have installed the casja i have installed the hardware application you can install some other stuff but keep in mind no google functionality whatsoever they've changed the these these icons over here the buttons which is uh well you know fine i guess and uh pretty much that's it guys i mean uh, Ah, that's 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 a ridiculous device in terms of functionality that's pretty bad but at the end of the day this is the only phone which allows voice over blockchain text messages and video calls again your data is going to a shady security romanian company or maybe in germany as well uh the the, com the the you know the bosses behind this company are a little bit shady from what i can gather from the internet so it's up to you do you trust them or not or do you trust your government more uh, i personally wouldn't get this phone simply because of the security and unfortunately as a phone i wouldn't get it either because have a look at my vlog in spectrum scoring system these are the scores that i gave to this phone guys and as you can see there are very few phones worse than that one so finally price wise you can get one of these for about you know thousand euros from their official store which is absolutely ridiculous if you go on ebay you can get a kind of a brand new unit like my one for about 200 pounds guys which is ah too much for what this phone offers but again if you want to do this over blockchain and you if you're not worried that if you trust this company for some reason well you go ahead and try that but um yeah it's definitely not for me but nevertheless i'm happy this that these products actually exist i think that the company is gonna go bust really really soon to be honest with you there won't be another you know crypto the crypto data phone and now uh, they're gonna be on sale very very soon so again it's up to you if you want to uh you know get involved with this thing or not but have a final look at it i mean it's absolutely ridiculous guys this is uh, unlike anything i've seen uh you know for sale nowadays i'm happy that they've i tested it myself and so what it is about but you know don't waste your money on that chinese piece of you know what <laughs> so yeah thank you very much for watching guys that was tony from vlogging project subscribe if you can't already and i'm gonna see you in the next one adios